My name is Kristen Avalos, transformational coach with KristenAvalos.com, and I'm going to get right started with our reading. So the first card I pulled, I asked the question, what is the gift? And I chose the card Magic Prayer, and it's in protection mode, meaning it is upside down. And when a card is in protection mode, it's nothing to be worried about. It's not saying that anything bad is going to happen, but it's really just our reminder to look really closely at this card because the message is one that really wants to be heard. And so the magic prayer card is all about surrendering. So the gift that we have is to really let go and let the universe handle all the details. We don't have to do everything by ourselves. And so this card is especially, I think, a good, uh, a good reminder as we're ending out January. And I know a lot of us hit the ground running and we really get going and we, we want this year to be the best year and we're determined to do everything we can to go about and, and make this happen. And that's a really good thing, um, definitely. But at the same time, this is saying sometimes we get to a point where we're forcing things to happen and we're trying to make things happen too fast. And so the timing is not really right. And so I'm gonna flip this card around and if you look at it, the, the woman, one, she has her eyes closed, and two, her um, body position almost looks as if she's about to just leap, just, just take a leap of faith. And so right side up, it's this re reminder that you can really let go of a lot of things because you don't have to do everything and you are being supported. So that's our gift. Now the second card I asked, what is the challenge at this full moon lunar eclipse? And if you don't know, eclipses bring a lot of changes and they change um, depending on the signs that they're in. So the eclipses have been happening for the past two years on the Aquarius and Leo axis. So we're really balancing sort of the we and the me. And so this card, the challenge is home. And so with all of this change happening, it's really easy to feel uncomfortable with the changes that are happening. It's very natural to feel anxious and unsafe at what's happening that you, you can't really predict. And sometimes things are taken from you very suddenly. Um, it's, it's not uncommon in eclipse season to suddenly lose a job or to end a relationship. And the, the thing is that we have ourselves. We, we have not only the support of the universe as we saw in this card, but we have it in us to feel at home no matter where we are amongst whatever changes are happening. And so, um, this is though the challenge of being able to get to that place where we can feel uh, that, that comfort in our own skin. And so the thing I like about this card, and you probably can't see it, but there are fairies kind of scattered throughout the card. There is a little owl looking out there. And there's also a sign near, near the front that says, welcome life. And so it really is the message that changes are natural and we, we kind of, we do have support. We do have um, help that we can call upon within us, but it, the challenge is we really just have to learn to be more comfortable with changes that are happening. And I say this and I know that's not easy. And so I know it is a challenge. So the third card that I pulled, I asked the question, what is uh, one last message that would be for the highest good of all of us that are watching this video? And I pulled One Ring Circus. And so the One Ring Circus card, it's interesting. I actually pulled this for the new moon reading as well. And um, it, it really is about how you 
you can do this. You're completely capable of it. You, you're competent. You, you can handle it. So I was listening to a CD audiobook last week and it was called, it was by Dr. Susan Jeffers, Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway, which I know we've, we've all heard. Um, but she said one of the main reasons that we feel fearful when we're about to do something is because we don't think that we can really handle it. We don't feel we can do what's necessary to, to, to make it okay. And so this card is really saying that you can do it, you can handle it, you're completely capable of it. And it's also a reminder that sometimes you really need to, to focus on yourself and, and don't feel guilty or like you're selfish um, for having to handle a situation that is gonna be the best way for you to do it. And so sometimes that means saying no to certain things. Sometimes that means delegating tasks to other people and you have it in you to, to do that. So thank you so much for watching. It's an honor that you are here with me. And again, I am Kristen Avalos, Transformational Coach. See you next month. Bye.